Taurus, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another tarot card reading for you today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe as you come in. Add value to the channel. A lot of message to spread. Going to be using the Light Sears deck to pull in some messages for you and see what the universe has to say. What's the energy currently surrounding Taurus? getting a staccato here maybe you're stopping and going a few more shuffles here all right so for Taurus today the energy currently surrounding you coming toward you what's grounding your reading today two of wands <laughs> yeah I was kind of getting this in my head so there could be stagnancy or complacency here. Uh, there's a certain level of contentment. Um, you have dreams, you have aspirations. It almost seems as though you want to travel or you're wanting to start some type of new endeavor. You're looking at something from a distance or you're daydreaming about uh, taking action towards something. Three of Pentacles, wanting to start a new business or start a new job or career. This could be an amateur here or people wanting to work with you here financially here. This is the start of a business. This is networking here. The magician. Yeah, you're manifesting something or you're wanting or attempting to manifest something. Maybe you're viewing something from a distance and you're figuring that you can also do it as well. Again, a, a niche is never oversaturated. It's better to start now than wait later and have the same excuses at butterflies. Have the same excuses that you had before you even started. Uh, but we have Aries energy, ready to take action. Uh, also, Gemini uh, is magician energy as well, dealing in spell work, communicating and manifesting here. You have the Queen of Pentacles, very financially abundant situation or endeavor you're you're planning to take uh, action or pursuit towards. You could also be dealing with a female boss, some type of secretary, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus. Uh, so yeah, we're standing in your energy here. Also, the people that you may be dealing with or the business partners that you may be up. It sounds uh, normal, but people don't do it. Birds of a feather flock together. You will come in contact with people that share the same values as you. This could also be you working on your health and manifesting, um, not only manifesting business, but also uh, manifesting uh, perfect health is what I'm getting. Queen of Pentacles. Could be attempting to bring in a relationship. Yeah, Nine of Wands. You have some type of talent about you. Again, you're manifesting, your, your, you're gonna be changing, up, changing, changing up your body. So this could be a gym workout or a gym regimen, Knight of Wands, dancing to the beat of your own drum. This could be Zumba or yoga or pole dancing. You could also be dealing with some type of inspirational speaker or motivator. So you may be uh, enlisting the help of some type of uh, physical therapist, some type of guide. Um, some type of gym buddy mm, but this is definitely traveling as well so you're balancing work and uh, your physical health here I mean it could be one and the same to be honest with you I'm not sure what this is could be uh, some form of a youtuber here magician uh, with the Queen of Pentacles energy content creation there's a lot of content creators out there in Instagram models now the difference between being an Instagram model and just shooting pictures of your butt and posting them online, you actually have content creators out there that have um, channels uh, where they do like meal prepping. Uh, they also um, record them working out at the gym. They give a, a gym workout recommendations and things like that. The words are escaping me at this point, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. Yes, yeah, second opinions. You list, you're enlisting the help of some type of expert here. And they're giving you a rundown or they're giving you a list or, or building some type of um, course for you to, uh, uh, to start to take. This is incorporating a new... Um, words are escaping me here. A magician. A manipulator. They could, be, they could seem like they're um, 
like they're taking control of your situation here but this is like a harsh critic like a drill sergeant getting you to um, work hardest or work at your best what else are we getting king of pentacles with the queen of pentacles so a thunder buddy here could also be some type of twin flame relationship or soulmate someone that you feel connected with something someone that you can actually express your ideas with like it's funny some couples are so weird they won't go to the gym with each other but they'll hire a professional um gym specialist or something to help them work out in the gym instead of actually going to the gym and working out with each other so we have the king and uh the king and queen of pentacles showing up this could be marriage this could also be childbirth as well we do have business and side projects. Uh, what else are we getting? Queen of Swords. Yeah. Some type of twin flame union here. Definitely. We have uh, the soulmates coming up twice. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. With the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So we got Aquarius, Libra. We have Capricorn and we have Taurus here. I'm sorry, Virgo. Well, all of the earth signs and all the air signs really to be honest with you. Someone's manifesting a relationship as well. This could be manifesting a relationship in the midst of um, starting a new gym regimen or going to a new gym or something like that. Maybe even starting a new business. Again, you're trying to move towards um, developing your finances uh, as well as de developing your health. Maybe someone gave you some type of criticism or some type of second opinion about the situations that's uh, going on with your life. I'm not sure if you've seen some type of health physician which Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles could be some type of doctor. King of Swords is the advice. But the magician here, someone's manifesting a relationship here. It's like they are enamored with you, Knight of Wands, uh, and, they're, and in order for this relationship to take root, there has to be some things that, sh that should be cut out here. I'm not sure if it's negative uh, financial habits here, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, or um, uh, even getting in shape, getting in, getting in shape physically to be able to handle a relationship. This could be someone that likes to travel. What am I getting? Knight of Cups. Wow. There's a lot of love coming in here. A lot of these readings today are about love. So we have Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This could be some type of uh, empathic or an intuitive. They're really drawn to you for whatever reason. The moon. Hidden intentions, occultism. I'm um, getting cancer vibes though. This could be... This could be some form of a hidden pregnancy as well. The truth is being hidden for what reason though? Okay, so they're wanting to take this relationship slow here. What's the last message? Knight of Wands. This is either immature energy or... They're definitely manifesting here, you here. Okay, so this is probably ritual. Uh, ritual work, candle magic. Someone manifesting you here. Maybe they think about you at all times of the day to the point, to, you know, what's always constantly on the mind is what you attract. So they're going to find a way to put themselves in your peripheral here, maybe without you even noticing here with the moon card, which is hidden activity or a misinterpretation of one's actions here. They may uh, come off very immature. They're definitely wanting sexual experience here with you, page of wands, knight of wands. They're extremely attracted to you. And they see you as a very sturdy business partner, uh, a father figure, a mother figure. They see that you use great discernment here as well. You have a very balanced uh, intuition or intelligence here. And they're wanting to manifest some type of a relationship here with you. They're wanting to uh, work with you here. They may try to come in through uh, matters of monies or matters of business. They may approach you with a side contract or some type of business opportunity but what they're really seeking with you is some type of love relationship here that's why the moon card is coming up is hidden activity and there's occultism they're wanting to manifest some type of relationship with you some type of marriage some type of family with you here so that's what i have for you today here taurus definitely interesting energies uh coming towards you uh use your proper discernment like share comment subscribe add value to the channel catch you on the next one peace